someone's sitting inside this little drink fridges things. I was like, yeah, that's funny. I like that. Okay. Tanuki Hero Chapter 2 The Unexpected Party. That's crazy. Sounds like quite the adventure. Bacon smiled. Deep in conversation, the two friends almost didn't notice that they had reached their destination. There they stood, on the exterior of the building on which sat the loft, a long ago since abandoned library, library, which the friends had now adopted as their home. Bacon looked up at the loft, then back to Toad. Well, we're here. Home sweet home. I got to get back to my wife and kid. Good to see you again, man. Bacon embraced Toad again, then put his hand on his shoulder and smiled. Toad was sad to say goodbye to his friend, even if it was just momentary, but he smiled back as well. Yeah, you too. Bacon began to walk away, then stopped and turned around. Actually, actually, you should hold on to this. I remember you having a file on here, right? He reached into his pocket, then handed Toad the Game Boy Advance. And then just like that, he was gone. Toad looked up in trepidation at the front door, then back to where Bacon once stood. Suddenly, the door burst open. There stood Ice right in the doorway in front of him. Before Toad knew it, Ice gave him a warm embrace. Hey bro, welcome home. It's great to see you. Ice put his arm around Toad, leading him to the door. Come on, man. We gotta get you upstairs to show you what we've done to the place. You'll hardly recognize it. The two reached the top of the stairs, dead-ended by a door. Well, here we are. Those stairs are quite the workout, huh? Ice opened the door. Everything inside was dark. Wow, yeah. Hardly recognize it. I can hardly see it. Toad chuckled warmly. Ice reached over to the wall and flipped the light switch on. The scene filled with light, revealing the friends all standing there. They all shouted, Surprise! Ice stood there dumbfounded, as he could hardly recognize the place he had just left. The blankets previously strewn about the room were now folded nicely in the corner basket. The counter was decorated with various bowls of punch, and the dining table, which till this moment he forgot they had, was decked out in a delicious variety of foods. Toad was surprised and elated as well. They all embraced in a hug. Then there was a knock at the door. Minnie went to open it, and there stood Toad's old friend, Joker. He was much more muscular now, with a deck of cards in hand. Joker had dark hair with a similar complexion to Minnie. You didn't start the party without me, did you? Joker smirked. Toad embraced Joker as they all laughed together. Well, what are we standing around for? Let's eat! Mephilus exclaimed. After the hearty sustenance, the friends headed out onto the rooftop of the loft. The afternoon was drawing to a close. All the friends sat gazing out at the skyline. Bellies full and hearts warm, Toad looked around at his friends with gratitude in his eyes. Ice looked at his brother Toad. So what are your plans, man? Toad looked back, then stared off into the distance. I don't know, I guess take life as it comes, Toad chuckled. I can't believe all of you are living here together. Much must, must be such a crazy fun time. Tosh chimed in. Don't worry, man, we won't take it easy on you. We'll, you'll be getting the crazy full force. All the friends laughed in agreement. Toad looked around realizing that one of the friends had disappeared. Wait, where's Meph? But it was too late. Mef was standing above them further up the roof as he shouted below. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Chaos, Swiss, roll. Mef rained down a barrage of cinnamon buns upon the friends. Suddenly, the power across the city went out. What's going on? Fox shouted. All friends all looked up just as bright neon light shot across the sky. Little sparks of light of different colors. It fell down towards their building, illuminating the dark surroundings. The city then returned to normal as power returned to the buildings around them. Taco was the first to respond. Whoa, that was weird. 
Muffliss smiled down at his friends below. Guess it's just the city welcoming you home. Toast looked up in sudden fear. Oh dang, my PC! I left it running! He jumped to his feet and headed into the house. The others followed suit. The loft was dark, except for glows of light coming from various places in the room. Each object was glowing at a different frequency and a different color. On the main floor, the guitar, kitar, and joy-cons were all glowing with an eerie, pulsating light. Later, Toast returned from upstairs. All good, guys. My PC is fine. The virtual boy is a bit weird, though. He held up the VR headset, which now is also glowing. The friends looked around dumbfounded. And check this out. Toast reached into his pocket and pulled out his D20. It was now also pulsating with that self-same glow of light. Toad instinctively reached into his pocket and pulled out Bacon's GBA, now glowing. This is quite irregular. Guess all that tech got affected somehow, Tacos regarded. I'm not too sure, Tacos. Check it out, Cheese responded. They all looked over where Cheese and Grape were standing, with a Costco-sized pack of Kool-Aid jammers now glowing as well. Yeah, not just tech, man. Joker held up his deck of cards, glowing mysteriously. Pretty cool effect, though. Joker smiled. Meph returned from around the corner with his prized Nintendo Power Glove that his dad had given him in his hands. Also glowing. The friends, each intrigued by the glowing, picked up the objects one by one, examining them. Wow, things have sure changed. What is this, guy? Some type of new tech? Toad questioned. The friends looked around silently in confusion. Toast was the first to respond. Nah, man, we ain't sure what this is. Just then, the lights flickered, and a dark entity appeared before them. It approached slowly, closer and closer. Ice was now visibly concerned. Um, guys, what's going on? What are we supposed to do? The friends each stood back against the wall, holding the glowing objects. Well, these are glowing... I guess they must do something cool, Toad chuckled. Meth stood at the head of them as he placed the power glove on his bandaged hand. Yup, let's put this to the test. He pumps his fist in preparation. The friends look around them and looked around each other and nodded in agreement. Meth led the charge. Chaos, Swiss roll! <laughs>